because he's one of the guys that I've actually been messing around transforming and he's really one of my favorites now. Love the World War II excellence era, whatever you want to call it. That, oh God. That was like my um, criteria is what I like. History is my favorite thing. So let's get on that. I love the eyes, how they're picked out like this nice turquoise green. Some coat of color and they got the orange but it's faded because they didn't get it all the way through. But all the way through is very nice. So I'm going to uh, eventually, yes, I'm going to take off his backpack. But then I got some ideas for this guy. Because you can see where areas are cut, like all the detail is, like in there where this little groove is. Let me get in there. In there is all that nice de bumblebee detail. You can see the bumblebee piece right there. They just have this in the way. He was supposed to be a small miniature tank. But they decided just, I guess, to remold him in the bumblebee mold. So this is the robot mode for him. Yes, he comes with the backpack and all that, which can be removed very simply. And I will do that much, much later. The backpack gets in the way a lot, which I might do that here in a little bit. He has two blasters because I got two of them. Wow. This uh, this wave, I got two of uh, everything. Two of every, everything except for uh, leaders. Leaders, I'm only getting one of because scavenger, if I get a second one of that leader class, then I'm about to get a second uh, rampage. I think is what his name is. Second um, mix master, long haul. And then Scrapper or whatever his name is. I'm going to have to get two of every single one. Which Rampage, I'm probably not going to have to because of the simple fact that they're coming out with a re uh, repaint of them. But yes, we got uh, two purple ones. We got two RC Sisters packs. I went and got two of those because I'm starting to work on all of them. Starting to paint them up and everything, which is taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take. But I mean, you can't really depend on um, time these days because... People have work. I got... What is that? What is that? Sorry. I got distracted so bad by the, the color of the wheel. <laughs> but uh, that's what I'm working on right now. As of right now, I'm working on all these guys. But let's go back into his robot mode real quick. Check them all out. Get all the detail. I got the tank treads right here. Picked out nice and nice silver. I really don't know what that is. Is it like supposed to be his deco or a sticker? Because I know he's a D2 quadrant. He has this right here. I think it's a little fishy if you turn it this way. It's a little fishy. <laughs> I like the little fishy. <laughs> and I just don't like the bulkiness of them. Like this right here. I mean, I wish I could remove this. But then if I do remove that, it's going to take the tire and all that out. And what I really don't get is why the tire is in the shin. It's supposed to be right here. It gets to, uh, right in here. But, you know, we keep getting the same thing over and over again. So we're not going to be real worried about it. Love the blasters that came with them. Have nice, very much detail there. Same blasters. Love the blasters, though. They got some good detail. He's got some nice orange paint, which I think I got some paint for that, which I, I do expect a paint job kind of for him, which I'm about to darken it a little bit, but and nothing like a little red and a little dab of white. Things. So that's for robot mode. Let me put him to side, try to get him in a stance here because he's kind of hard because he's all clunky. Like the bumblebee. There we go. Uh, for robot or uh, vehicle mode, sorry about that. He, um, same vehicle mode as bumblebee, but he's got this nice black finish fade. But then the rest of it is this dull gray plastic. Got some silver striping for the boxes and everything coming from the back. Same, just gray plastic y stuff. From the front, got some nice silver picked out for the wind mirrors and all that. Yes, he's mistransformed because I got his arm mistransformed. And then right here, I don't even know what all that is. Oh, probably. Uh, I got to figure out what that is. Probably because either it's paint or it's, um, what's it called? Paint remover. I accidentally dropped some of that today. But for um, since I got him in vehicle mode, I'm going to transform him into robot mode. So what I'm going to do is we're going to lift this part up. Canopy part, top of the roof. Rotate that. Fold to the side. Come to the back right here. D-peg all that. Come to the back, fold this up, and leave it all alone. Then you're going to grab the rims and tires and the side of the wheel wells and all that stuff and pull them to the side. And then you're going to come back up to the front of the vehicle, push down, loosen all that up, and then push up on the side doors. Then what you want to do for this backpack is you're going to grab this door, push it in, grab that door, push it in, and then close all that up on top and make sure it clicks in. 
And then for all that, just rotate this. I keep hearing something. That just must be me. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate this after all that side to side. Or is it under? I think it's under. Yeah, under. Okay, under. Run it. Oh. Roll it under. And then come to the front up here. And what's going to happen is, is you're going to grab this chest piece. Uh, same thing as bubble bee. Push up. And then these should just peg in. Or they should have. There you go. They're pegging right there. There's a peg inside there. That pegs right there. There you go. Rotate down, rotate down, if I can get his hand out. God, it's stiff, I don't know why. And then, for the legs, very simple, transformation, same as Bumblebee, just grab that. Flip the tires in, spread that apart. And then you want to rotate, tight, 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 and then push in. Fold the foot down, and boom, one leg all done. Fold the foot down, boom, all done. Okay. Now for these rim wheel welds and all that, you just, okay, this is how it's on a double hinge system. See, double hinge. What you're gonna do is push in towards the arm shoulder pad and then push in towards the back of the piece chest. That way, all that locks in. Then you can just fold this huge backpack down. And then voila, there is a hot rod in his robot mode. And I gotta say, I really love the robot mode and I really like the uh, overall aesthetic. I thought about getting a second bumblebee, but. I saw one at Target, but I can't afford it this time because I bought all the other ones. So, but at least he's got double blasters, so we could just get him in that nice robot mode on his box where he's just holding it like that. And then the other one, he's just like, he's just firing at Nazis and all that. They do, 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 do. They, oh, ha, ha. And boom, we and all them kind of together. What's up then? Uh, let me know in the comments what y'all think about this figure. If uh, my honest opinion about them is, if you're a collector and you're really big on collecting World War II memorabilia and you're a big fan of Transformers as well, this is a definite figure to get. But if you're just a Transformers fan, still another one to get. And overall, if you're just a kid just looking to have fun, this will be a good figure because he's just bulky and he it's simple to transform him. That's on. That's just me. So, so if y'all like this review, let me know down in the comments. And I hope y'all like the video. And I hope y'all have a good night and a good day. Y'all have a good day now.